evaluation of one sided limit. Now, one sided limit means what? Suppose I am standing here, one is this side and one is this side. So, evaluation for one side limit, right handed limit and left handed limit. These two are written here left handed and right handed. Now, how to proceed and what is the difference between this and what is the use of this? I will just tell you, explain you what is the use of this. Now, left handed limit. Now, how we are approaching for left handed limit? We are writing like this limit x approaches to a and on a we are writing a negative part on a we are writing a negative part do not pronounce it a minus ok. So, a negative it is the symbol for left handed limit left handed limit means suppose this is a this is line is the main limit left handed means little bit less than that and right handed limit we are writing limit x approaches to a and on the a we are writing or using a symbol that is positive ok. So, this is the differentiation between the two for the left handed limit we will be writing a and above a there will be a negative sign which will say it is left handed and above a when there is a positive sign this shows we have to move towards the right side ok. Now, how we can go for this one now step one. obtain the problem say limit x approaches to a f x ok. Same thing here step 1 obtain the problem say limit x approaches to a f x ok. Step 2 now in the left hand limit what we are going to write it now here we will be writing right limit x approaches to a f x this is the question ok is equal to limit x approaches to a left hand of limit a negative this is left hand of limit and here we are writing f x same here we will be writing right limit x approaches to a f x is equal to limit x approaches to right hand side of the limit that is a positive ok f x. Now, writing both the in the sequence what we are getting this shows left hand of limit that shows right hand of limit ok. Now, step 3. Now, here for now we are going for the right hand side for this part now put x approaches to a negative. Now, what we are going to go here what we are going to do here now or we can just write it. let not put let x approaches to a minus h because already I have made a column for left hand limit. So, we can directly approach like this where h approaches to 0 as x approaches to a negative this means as x approaches to left hand of the limit ok. Let x approaches to a negative of h where h approaches to 0 as x approaches to a negative same step 3 
लेट एक्स अप्रोचिस टू ए प्लस एक्स नो जस्ट लुक वॉट द डिफरेंस इज हेयर आई हैव टेकन ए माइनस एच देयर आई हैव टेकन ए पॉजिटिव ऑफ एच वेयर एच अप्रोचिस टू जीरो एज एक्स अप्रोचिस टू राइट हैंड ऑफ द लिमिट इज इट क्लियर नाउ स्टेप फोर Now step four is simplify the question limit. Sorry, h approaches to zero. H approaches to zero. F of a minus h. okay so h approaches to 0 f of a minus h now and here step 4 simplify limit h approaches to 0 f of a plus h is it clear both things we are going to simplify step 5 solving step 4 we will get the required limit same step 5 solving step 4 we will get the required result or the limit now very interesting part is what the interesting part is now when left hand limit that is limit x approaches to a x approaches to a for the left hand side is equal to limit x approaches to a positive to the fx then limit exists like this we can say when limit exists hence hence limit x approaches to a negative of fx negative means left hand limit is equal to limit x approaches to a right hand limit implies limit x approaches to a of fx okay so main thing is right now what what it is we have to go for this the limit exists and remember these two things this one and this one and this is a very 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 important concept now i am going to give you an example for this <coughs>